go. What do you have to say? Huh? Do you have anything to say? You want to be on camera so bad. <laughs> no, you're not going to play with my phone. <laughs> no, girl. It's okay, we can always try next time, okay? Okay. How you feel? Excited? You're like a grown-up. But you have perfect teeth, huh? Yeah. Did you have any guys so we just got out of the dentist Jalen did really good um, we have to come back on Wednesday she has one small cavity on her back right which I'm always kind of or left I'm always a little bit like I feel like maybe she's not getting back there and then also the dentist said that her baby molars uh, they when like that's something she had nothing to do with but when they form when like I'm pregnant with her and they get ready um, they're supposed to completely close like together. Do you know what I mean? Like how molars look? It's hard for me to explain. Um, but there's a small like indent where it should be completely closed. So since she has the cavity that she um, that we're filling anyway, she suggested that we do that simply because her molars don't come out until she's like 10. So it could potentially become a problem uh, if anything happens. She said it wasn't cavity. It just didn't fill. So, but that's good. Jalen did really good, huh? She got a cool sticker and a bag. You have that, ma'am. And I got a favorite color to draw. Yeah. Very nice. And I got a new toothpaste. Uh huh. You'll be able to use that, huh? Yeah. And our doctor's note. She will just like. I can't just drop you off, I have to walk you in, because you're late. Yeah. Um, so, yes, I'm gonna just go in here really quick and uh, get a drink. And then head home to relieve Michael of Ryland duty since he is tired because he just woke up. Milkshake. Oh, I did show you the cover. I made a chocolate milkshake. I put milk in the jar. Then I put chocolate in the jar. You okay? You okay? Then, then I put ice cream in the jar. Then I put the lid on the jaw. I shook the jaw.
Then I poured the milkshake into the glass. Then I drink my milkshake. Mmm. The end. I have some more books on the back. And I already have this one. And I'm reading it right now. Wow. It, it has paper pages in it. And you might whip them. And it's a school book to, to practice read. So I am getting ready to paint the dresser. I don't know if this is going to go up before or after you see the actual painting video, but it will be painted in the video. <laughs> so anyways, um, I'm going to paint. These are from Ikea. We got them. And um, I mean, I really like them. So I'm just going to use the chalk paint and it's the exact same chalk paint that I used. My hands are really ashy. I just watched them. Sorry. Um, on our bed, which is over here. I'm in the process of getting the room back together. Um, so, this looks a little bit off. This is the Folk Arc uh, chalk paint. It's, I got it from Joann's. This is just the black or rich black. And I'm going to put that in here. I have my roller. Um, this one. And I have my pan down there. And then over top, which is what I put on all of our chalk paint items, um, is the poly. What exactly is uh, dance class music? What about this song? Is that good? Well, it's kind of like it's kind of like a a um night song, like <laughs> a nice song. Okay, let's see. What about this? That sounds very nice. Okay. So here it is. There's a couple of, I did a couple of touch-ups. Um, you can see some wet spots. Um, but I need to put the poly on it and then I need to do it down below. Um, but looking good. Be careful. Um, looks pretty good.
So I wanted to show you guys a quick, I guess, tip that I do, uh, or I use for doing Jalen's hair. Um, her hair tangles really easily and it takes a long time to get it ready. So I prep her hair at night. I don't put any actual um, like bands in her hair because it's constricting. I do put one at the top of her head. But basically, whatever style I'm going to be doing with her hair the next morning, I just do it without any um, bands at all. So the plan for tomorrow is to have her hair. It's kind of hard to see. Can you hold your hair down, baby? Um, I have three sections on each side. Um, and I'm going to put rubber bands in each of these three and then have them crossing um, And then those will come up Into two ponytails up front, which I will do two puff balls up there um, So I have everything sectioned out the way that I need it to be and then all I will do is pull her hair up Here, hold on. Okay um, and put a loose ponytail on top of her head. None of these braids are actually constricting. Um, I also only, I do twists in the back. Braids take a lot longer to take out of her hair and twists literally unravel out of her hair. Um, so the bottom are just twists because they're smaller and then the top two because they're a lot thicker um, are braids. And so then in the morning I just have to refresh her hair. I'll take the braids down, apply product so that they look shiny and obviously add the rubber bands but I don't have to do any parting. So there we go.